All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be answering David Granado's question. So basically, he is asking, what is the Facebook pixel and how does it work? Okay, so basically, the Facebook pixel is a piece of code that Facebook gives you, um, the business manager in the Facebook site where you're advertising. Um, and that piece of code works, so you put it on your pages, on your sites, on your stores to track everything you're doing with the advertising on Facebook. Now, this pixel is used to track everything. Without this pixel, you cannot track um, the stats, you cannot track how many people are visiting your pages, how many people are visiting your landing page, converting into a lead, registering into a webinar, how many people are, if you're doing e-commerce, going to your product page, adding the product to cart, purchasing it. So basically the pixel is what allows you to track everything. If you don't have the pixel set up in place, you don't know what's going on. And this is marketing. So if you don't know what's going on, if you don't know the stats, then um, you're burning money. It's like going to Vegas to a casino and just gambling all the money away because you're not measuring. And what you can measure, if you can't measure something, there's just no way on earth that you can improve it. Now, there are different ways, um, different ways to use the pixel. For example, if you're using click funnels, there's a specific way to put the pixel in the, thing, in the landing page, in the thank you page. I'm gonna go over, I'm actually gonna be doing a tutorial on this, um, recording my screen, but if you're doing it for e-commerce, there are two main apps that I suggest you use. One is Pixel Magic, um, the other one is Trackify. Now with these two apps, you can track your Facebook pixel, it's pretty simple, you just place a pixel code over there and they take care of the rest. And um, pretty much that's the main answer. What's the pixel, a piece of code? How do you use it? You paste it on your site, on your pages to make sure Facebook is tracking. Yeah, there are external tracking, there are external tracking uh, solutions, but that's more advanced. Like if you're uh, starting out or just uh, intermediate, then you're not gonna need those. So you wanna be tracking absolutely everything you do because that way you know what's your cost per lead, what's your cost per sale, how much you can afford to spend on advertising while breaking even while making a profit. So it's basically knowing your numbers. If you don't know your numbers, again, it's like gambling and throwing money away. So what you wanna do is make sure before you launch a campaign is make sure your pixel is tracking correctly. And you always wanna make sure that you are um, checking your stats, seeing the most important stats, like the cost per sale, the cost per lead, the amount spent, the revenue generated. So you know, you know the numbers of your business because marketing is all about numbers. You gotta know your numbers to see how much money you can put into advertisement in order to generate X amount of money back. So that's the Facebook pixel. That's how you use it. Um, really, really, really important to make sure it's tracking correctly because if it's not, again, it's just wasting money. So make sure you, your Facebook pixel is tracking correctly. Do a test. There is actually um, an app that you can use for uh, Google Chrome to make sure the pixel is tracking correctly on your pages. It's called the pixel helper, it's for Chrome. So you put the your site in the, you, you, you enter your site in the Chrome search bar. And once you're at your site, the, the pixel helper is just like a small app in the toolbar that's, you can click on it and it's gonna tell you how many pixels are active and if they are working correctly. So that's a great tool to make sure your pixel is working correctly, David. So that's it, that's it for this video. I hope it helped you out. Make sure you have the tracking in place before you get started. And uh, again, if you have any questions, make sure you Type them in the comments below. I'm going to be answering them in a video. And I'll see you on the next one.